So we are going to get to know one of the inspiring person in the world, Miss Patricia Sawyer Banner. Patricia Benner is a holder of the titles, Registered Nurse, Doctor of Philosophy, Fellow of the American Academy of Nursing, Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria. She was born on August 31, 1942 at Hampton, Virginia. Graduated and took her degrees at the University of California, Berkeley. Took up nursing, medical surgical nursing, and stress and coping and health. She then wrote books such as From Novice to Expert Excellence, Educating Nurses, Primacy of Caring, Clinical Wisdom and Interventions in Critical Care, Breakthroughs in Critical Reading, Stress and Satisfaction on the Job, and Novice to Expert Medical Surgical Nursing. She was then awarded as a living legend of American Academy of Nursing in year 2011. The Academy recognized us a small group of fellows as living legends in honor of their extraordinary contributions to the nursing profession. These individuals have made our profession and our society continuing impact of these contributions to the provision of health throughout the world. Patricia Benner developed her own concept for nurses, which is the novice to expert theory. This concept implies that a nurse does not need to learn theories to gain skills and knowledge, but in order to become a great nurse, he or she needs to have a good foundation and personal experience. This concept emphasizes on the idea that a nurse is a knowing how without knowing that. Knowing how refers to the nurse's skills and understanding, while knowing that refers to learning the theories. Benner explained that development in certain fields, including nursing, requires an extension of learning through quality experience. In Benner's concept, she introduced the five levels of nursing experience, which are novice, advanced beginner, competent, proficient, and expert. Novice. In this level, a nurse is considered to be a beginner with no experience. These are nurses that are given general instructions to follow and their rule-governed behavior are limited and inflexible. They are told what to do and simply follow instructions. The next level is advanced beginner. A nurse who can have an acceptable performance and has had prior experience in actual nursing situations. They can recognize essential and meaningful components and can formulate principles to act as a guide for them based on their experiences. The next level is competent. In this level, a nurse already has a general experience of two to three years. They gain perspective in being able to create and plan their own actions and have longer term goals, which can help them in achieving greater efficiency and organization. Proficient. In this level, a nurse can perceive and understand situations as whole parts and has developed a holistic point of view of what it means to be a nurse, which can improve their decision making. They can expect certain situations and be able to develop modifications of certain parts or routine of action. For the final level is the expert. In this level, a nurse does not rely on principles, rules, or guidelines to create actions and understand situations. They have developed a deeper experience and an intuitive grasp of clinical situations. Their performances are fluid, flexible, and highly proficient. Nursing skills through experience are a prerequisite for becoming an expert nurse. These different levels of skills show changes in the three aspects of skilled performance. First is the transition from relying on abstract principles to using past experiences as a guide of action. Second is a change in the nurse's perception of situations as whole parts rather than separate pieces. And third is a passage from a detached observer to an involved performer. A nurse is engaged in a situation rather than simply outside of it. Now let's go to the nursing meta paradigm. 
Patricia Benner defined nursing as an enabling condition of connection and concern. This implies that it involves with attaining a high emotional level of involvement between the nurse and his or her patient. She also defines nursing practice as a care and study of the lived experience of health, illness, and disease, and their relationships. Patricia Benner defined a person as a self-interpreting being. That is, the person does not come into the world predefined, but gets defined in the course of living a life. A person also has an effortless and non-reflective understanding of the self in the world. The person is viewed as a participant in common meanings. She believed that there are significant aspects that define a person. These major aspects are the role of situation, the role of the body, the role of personal concerns, and the role of temporality. Patricia Benner focused on the lived experience of being healthy and ill. She defined health as what can be assessed, while well-being is the human experience of health. Well-being and being ill are recognized differently. Health is described as not just the absence of disease and illness. A person may have a disease and not experience illness because illness is the human experience of loss or dysfunction, whereas disease is what can be assessed on a person. Patricia Benner used the term situation rather than environment because it suggests a social environment with social definition and meaning. She used the phenomenological terms of being situated and situated is defined by the person's engaged interaction, interpretation, and understanding of the situation. And that's it for Patricia Benner. Hope you learned something.